oil refineries transform crude oil into various usable petroleum products such as diesel, gasoline, kerosene, jet fuel, liquefied natural gas, heating oils and more. These sprawling industrial complexes separate the hundreds of different hydrocarbon molecules within crude oil into components that are then sold to a variety of different customer segments who use them as fuels, lubricants and feedstocks in petrochemical manufacturing processes. Refineries have several units that emit CO2, including steam methane reformers that produce hydrogen, catalytic crackers, and combined and heat power units. The emissions of an individual refinery will depend on a number of factors, such as the configuration of the refinery, the type of fuel being used, as well as the crude being processed. For instance, heavy sour crudes require more energy to process than light sweet crudes. Refineries play a key role in the petroleum industry, connecting crude oil extraction to downstream segments. While the processes within refineries only contribute to around 5 to 10% of the total emissions arising from oil products, the opportunity for reducing these are significant due to the nature of the processes used and the fact that these are large scale fixed locations. This makes CCUS of refineries more practical than it would be. Uh, in the downstream applications, such as individual homes, vehicles, and businesses. Using our technology, you can capture up to 90% of the carbon dioxide emitted from a refinery. That's a universal number, and you can apply that to all sectors. By integrating CCUS with other practices, such as energy efficiency, the use of low carbon oil, and tapping into renewable power generation, refineries can move towards net zero quickly, easily, and practically. These measures can also become a key competitive differentiator for refineries as their customers have greater incentives to use low carbon fuel.